Hey guys, so, um, I'm in a new place. <laughs> yeah, um, so within the past month, I've been moving. My, like, my move day was on the 7th, but I've been preparing for a long time, and I've still been unpacking for a long time. I still have a lot of things to actually unpack, like a lot of my Pokemon plush I still need to, need to unpack. But I wanted to get uh, my June haul done, and, like, not like I'm just doing it to do it, but, you know, I need to make sure I get that up because I've been... <laughs> bad with videos and I'm really really sorry but being in my new place I'll be able to do videos a lot more which I'm really excited about um so yeah let's get started and for people who are going to ask yes I'm going to be doing an apartment tour uh it will be coming soon I promise you that so something I've been literally wanting for like over a year is the Link Figma I got him off Amazon for I think about 30 six dollars which is a good price compared to him being at like 50 and 60 at conventions and when he was on a very limited run some people were just like buying and reselling for a profit um, but yeah not a bad price at all off Amazon and I've been dying to have him and I have him now also something else that came out was a pre-order uh, this is one of the Sailor Moon Propica items uh, it's the crystal star compact and I've been wanting to open it do a little unboxing as well because I've been wanting to get I've been getting the Proplica items and you know how much of a Sailor Moon uh, obsessed person I am probably if you've been watching my channel for a little bit but yeah it's just uh, one of her transformation brooches and I know it isn't a Proplica but I've been really wanting to get the gold locket uh, really bad but that's gonna be hard to get but I mean yeah Sailor Moon Compact because this went on a really good sale on Amazon, I was able to price match it at Best Buy, and I got this as an early birthday gift. It's the Elgato HD60, which I've been using to record some gameplay footage. I recorded the Splatfest with this, and the footage looks really good. I'm really excited for 60 frames per second. I am going to be trying to do more gameplay footage now that I'm in a new environment, uh, so be looking forward to that. But so far, by using it, I've it's been really good. Uh, the only problem I had is I had to download an older version of the Elgato software for it to work because the newest newest one kept crashing my computer. So I guess it's a good thing they still had the old software version up. So I got one of those cheapy uh, Legend of Zelda kind of in a little box figures. And what really is kind of bad is <laughs> you can see his sword is kind of bent and I've been trying everything I can to straighten it out. but. I think I only got them for like three or four dollars, which you know, to be honest, that's not that bad of a price. I got it at five below, but I gotta figure out a way to fix this sword. I did get some color contacts off of lensvillage.com, and I have yet to actually put them on and test them out, uh, but they are gonna be for cosplays. I got a pink set. I don't know if you can really see that well. Um, yeah, pink to uh, do hopefully a Super Sonico cosplay, and just because I thought pink color contacts would be kind of cool to wear and then I got these blue ones for Jigglypuff um, to hopefully do redo Jigglypuff a little bit and have like kind of like brighter blue eyes and maybe just to enhance my eyes because my eyes are blue but um, they were only like ten dollars on sale then shipping and then I also got some cute little lens cases for apparel, I picked up a few different shirts. Actually, one of them I got, and the other ones I found, uh, my mom got them for me at the Salvation Army, which I was really surprised about, that she actually kind of figured I would like them. But anyway, I did order this uh, official Nintendo World Championships 2015 shirt. Um, I posted links on my Facebook when they were available. I'm not sure if they still are now, but um, I can go see if it is, and I'll put a link in the description below. So while my mom was Salvation Army hunting, she got these two shirts for me. Uh, they're for Hatsune Miku. Uh, there's this one. I haven't been too into Hatsune Miku, but I would really like to get into listening to her music more. Uh, so this is kind of has like the Beatles thing to it, where you know they're all walking down the famous sidewalk, uh, which I find you know, it's cute. I like those little cute, nerdy, creative uh, ideas. And then this one's just of Hatsumiku. I had $25 off at Best Buy, so I ended up getting this Amiibo case, a clear 3DS case for my new 3DS, and a card case for the game's cartridges, and I only paid like $8 for everything. This and the card case and the cover for my 3DS because of that certificate, so pretty good deal. And I just think this is like the cutest Amiibo holder ever. Ding! You know, I've always wanted to get these tumblers. Uh, I never knew why, but I, I just wanted one. But anyway, I got this Sailor Moon one where it has 
uh, Neo Queen Serenity, it's got Usagi at Sailor Moon, Chibi Usa, and who else is on here? Oh, nope, it's just them. But yeah, I just thought it was pretty, uh, pretty adorable. So for games, I ended up getting Professor Layton and The Last Spectre for 11 bucks. Uh, my dad actually found this at a yard sale for me. Uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario for the Super NES, I think for like two or three bucks, which definitely wasn't bad at all, in my opinion. And then I got Freedom Wars for the Vita for eight bucks. Also, I got this really, really big, huge Splatoon poster for free from one of the workers at GameStop because she knows I'm in there a lot. And I was just like, I wanted the Splatoon poster, so I got the Splatoon poster. <laughs> and then my mom found this for me for a quarter. So I guess for a quarter, I can learn to draw some Nintendo characters, which, you know, definitely not bad. It's got like Falco in here, uh, it's got Sip Slippy, uh, Diddy Kong, he's got his own page. You can learn to draw the barrels too, maybe? Oh no, it's just the characters. Donkey Kong, and yeah, this is actually like, kind of old. This is, I think, from the GameCube era. So when I went to the Super Mario Maker demo at a Best Buy, uh, the Best Buy associates, the Nintendo reps there, were like, yeah, you know, we're just gonna bring all of our Nintendo stuff that's accumulated in our basements and just give it out. And we're gonna still have more, but like, there was a lot in here. Okay, um, so we got the pink uh, Peach and Luigi cat ears. Like, literally, I kid you not, there's like a bunch of little knickknack stuff, little posters. Um, some Mario Kart 8 lanyards. Got some AR cards for Bravely Default. Uh, some keychains for Pokemon and Mario Kart. You know, and I went in there thinking like this was the only thing I was getting, and I ended up with so much more. Uh, there's some, let's see, there's Animal Crossing pins, uh, buttons about being a villager, like the mayor and all that. Kirby Triple Deluxe Erasers, which I never even knew those existed. So there's some Yoshi, Monster Hunter, and Mario Kart stickers. There's a Captain Toad puzzle. Like I'm just literally gonna go through poster after poster. So we got uh, Captain Toad and Pokemon of Sir Layton versus Phoenix Wright, which I never even knew there was like a big release date for this, but I mean, I knew this came out a while ago. I think a couple months ago. Um, we got Mario 8, Kid Icarus Uprising. We got Pokemon Rumble Blast and Mario Luigi Dream Team, which I highly recommend this game. I put 50 hours in this game. I can beating it. I love that game so much. Like, here's the old school. Pokemon Black and White 2 for the DS. <laughs> and then Kirby Mass Attack for the DS. And then there is, let's see, there is this uh, Majora's Mask one, there's a Hyrule Warriors, Super Smash Brothers, Game and Wario, as you can see, uh, let's see, Super Smash Brothers uh, for the 3DS and Wii U, and it's advertising like they're both double sided, the same ones, and it's got the Amiibo, another Majora's Mask, and then a year, uh, the year of Luigi. So, like, <laughs> that was all for free, essentially, just going to that Best Buy event. So, that is my June haul. As always, I want you guys to leave comments down below telling me the things that you picked up, make me jealous, because I know a lot of you do, and you guys have been. Um, telling me how you've been picking up awesome things and looking more because of my videos, which I really find uh, I'm appreciative and grateful of that because like the point is to have you guys like do the same things as me Like go to these events go to Salvation Army shopping or thrift store garage sales and find things as well and wait for good deals So yeah, tell me comments down below if this is your first time on my channel Make sure you click that subscribe button down below because it'll let you know when I upload new videos Also check out my social media which I'm gonna be more active on now that I am moved in essentially with everything and I will be letting you guys know when I do that apartment tour that I know you're looking forward to so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!